Okay, so the Tri-State area is celebrating Black Restaurant Weeks, where yeah. you can try some delicious food and support Black-owned businesses. It's a win-win for everybody. Yes. We are highlighting some of the participants, including this next restaurant that serves Caribbean fusion mm. food in mm. Park Slope, my old stomping That's ground. right. <laughs> Joining us live this morning is Chef Chris Calendar, the executive chef of Charm Bar. Welcome to New York Living. Oh, chef, thank, thank you, you for, for having here. me, guys. I he really was watching it. us flamenco dance. We were and terrible. having a good laugh. It, it was good. We were good. trying to pick apples good. for you. You guys did a thing. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, it was good, question mark. Like, my mama told me not to lie on television. So gonna... <laughs> Talk to us about your role in the history of Charm Bar. Uh, so I came in to be the executive chef. Um, my second role as an executive chef. Mm -hmm. And uh, we wanted to create something that was modern, but also had that Caribbean essence. Sure. Mm. So uh, I was like all for it. I was very inspired. I've worked with many chefs across the board, traveled sure. around the world. Mm. And I wanted to like give something special to this space. It's called Charm. You know? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we, yes. We wanna, it's an intimate spot. And what we do to our guests is charm them every day with this lovely food here. Because you're in a busy park. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're across from the Barclays. Yeah, we're right across the street from Barclays. So there's Sunday. a lot, lot of foot traffic. Yeah. Yeah, no, foot traffic every week, basically. <laughs> I mean, we have graduations currently right now. Ah, like, that's A bunch season. of those. Right. But uh, aside from that, we obviously have the Nets mm -hmm. and any concert that comes in, the foot traffic just drives right to that's us. Perfect, perfect location. Now, yeah. what is your, f what do you love most about these specific dishes and the flair that you give them when you're creating? I think it's the specialness of them. You know, everything that I create as a chef is very detailed. Uh, so, you know, every, every you probably could get rasta pasta mm -hmm. from every, any place, but we want to offer people a plant-based rasta pasta. Mm, very nice. You know, that, that also opens options to people that aren't able to have, obviously, food that, like, you know, aren't meat eaters right. or sure. Sure. pescatarians. You know, that market is not very touched, you mm -hmm. know, and I, I want to make sure that guests, when they come, they have something to have. They have There's the something for everybody. Something special. And you brought the pasta rasta. The, yeah, the, yeah, the rasta pasta. pasta. <laughs> Let's yes. dive into this menu, please. The, so yes, the, yeah, we have right here the plant-based rasta pasta. Okay. And then we, well, let's jump in. Let's, yeah. let's, we're, I'm let's going right ahead. I'll so serve what us. is what is the traditional version, and how is this version different? So most people use cream, heavy mm -hmm. cream, mm -hmm. and you know they put the the colors, you know, green and yellow and yeah. red peppers. Obviously, for that's rasta pasta. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the, it's usually heavy cream based and parmesan. I see um, that. In this case, You've we swapped are it out? we swapped it out. We um. I mean, a chef never tells his recipe, but I mean, uh, just so you know, mm. there is coconut milk. So if you have any allergies, I, I need to put I that out there. I love that. This I, is I love how fantastic. I told you that after the fact, but sorry. We, we shy away from nothing. This is delicious. <laughs> it has a nice kick to it. Thank I, you. There are so many flavors. Yes. You yeah. did it. You did it. You did the this thing. This is it. I could eat this whole bowl by myself. Next. Number two. All right, next. So we have the jerk guava chicken, mm. and then we have rice and beans with uh, sauteed broccoli. Stop now, right jerk now. guava is is like a thing at our restaurant. Because I was going to something... say, I've heard of jerk, but the guava is part... Is the guava like a, a t traditional hallmark in the Caribbean cuisine? Oh, yeah. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. We man. do in Puerto Rico pasta de guayaba, like the yeah, guava right, paste exactly. or, you know, little yeah, empadillos. Yeah. You know, I learned I... so much on the show. You, I tell you. <laughs> you should watch New York Living. You learn a lot. It's hard to watch when I'm in it. So, yes, rice and beans. And I see these microgreens. Traditionally made. Okay. Oh, oh, I yeah, see you. Know, it's see. all about the plating. I see you. I see you. What's happening here? You have sea creatures. Yes. So this is our West Indies scampi. It's this is this is this is like one of my favorite dishes. Is that right? It's uh something you know. If you don't want something heavy like mm. a, a, a rasta pasta, pasta yep. you get yourself a West Indies scampi. So we have lobster tail. We have um, shrimp. The, the, we have shrimp. Yes, uh -huh. tiger shrimp. shrimp. Then we have um, linguine pasta mm. with a jerk lemon butter sauce. Oh, hello. Excuse you. Marisol, his dive eye, into the. His eyes are rolling into the back of his head. That's I, mean, <laughs> I need you to understand what I, I mean. I wonder what his favorite one is. Um, okay, and then the, the, the last. Beauty the over last there beauty. is the newest okay. addition to the menu. Okay, so uh, you guys are getting the first feature of this actual <gasps> dish. So yes, yes, this, we this is it for very first. very new. It doesn't come out till tomorrow. <gasps> okay, so, sneak peek. Sneak peek. It's beautiful. Okay. So we have, uh, well, we, we call it island toast. Okay. I All right. It. So island toast is cocoa bread, French toast basically. Sure. Yep. And then it has a mango thyme compote. Oh. And powdered sugar, and then the a way little you bit should. Of maple. A little bit of maple syrup. Mm. Like, honestly, I mean, I'm, I don't like so much sweet. I could eat it just like that, but mm -hmm. I know people that love syrup, so That's right. you could drizzle that right on there. Listen, oh. I just tasted your favorite, and I understand why it's your favorite. 
I'm gonna just do it oh, because no, yeah, I yeah. have to. You know, wow, you know us good. in this yeah, show. Shall I bring it to you, or do you want to? No. Chef, stay you, it's your day off. You don't have to. Chef, work. we like to we like to imbibe in some libations on this show. What what do you have in that way, mm. as far as cocktails go at Charm Bar? Ooh, okay. So my favorite is the Raymaker, and the Raymaker is uh, like a, a it's a punch. It's a mm. so yeah. Take that. Um, just like um, the Caribbean love Ray yep. and nephew, mm -hmm. so it's a uh, it's a punch. So Ooh, you, delicious, delicious. Uh, another one is the zombie. We have like really fun names. Really like, fun names. And, Basically, you're saying you can't go wrong with anything you order. No, 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 no. <laughs> like our, no, our our cocktail program is stellar. Well, if your food mm. your food program is delicious, I'm sure your cocktail program is. Thank you for sharing this with us. I have no so room yummy. on my plate anymore. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Charm Bar is on Dean Street in Park Slope, across from the Barclays Center. You can view the full list of participating restaurants at blackrestaurantweeks.com.